I'm Tom with the Vending Business Show. I'm here again with Larry Towner, who is a vending business consultant. He has been in the vending business for a couple of decades, and uh, we're glad to have him here today to explain a little more about how to make money in the vending business. So thanks for being here, Larry. Oh, thanks, Tom. It's a pleasure. Now, um, I know sometimes people getting started in a, in a, in a business or in particularly a vending business have some misconceptions about uh, what it means to, uh, uh, to make money in the business. Um, what's one of the common ones you hear? Well, you know, probably the, common, the most common thing I hear about business in general is that if you're in business, you're making money. That's my number one comment and then of course you hear it a lot in the vending business because after all you everybody knows how much your product costs you can buy it for a quarter and sell it for 50 cents and of course you're making millions on that just millions <laughs> so yeah so that's a kind of a misconception um, what uh, what kind of things do the uh, vending uh, people who are doing well or successful in the vending business what kind of things are they doing that uh, most of the new people aren't or not aware of? Well, one, one of the biggest issues that, that successful people in general do, and again, but it applies to the vending industry just as much as it does any other businesses, successful people set goals. They plan and they set goals. And one of the things, if you're contemplating getting in the vending business, you want to set some goals. You can make literally now I mean I we were just joking about it before about making millions of dollars but you can make millions of dollars in the vending business if you want it's just a question of successful planning and successful goal setting if you think you're gonna get into the vending business and make a million dollars in a year if you can figure that out would you please let me know because I'd like to do that after 20 years I mean we were very very successful no complaints like the vending business but it's it's a lot of hard work so one of the things when we talk about goal setting, did, did you understand that, Tom? Did you understand what, what we're talking about when we say that? Uh, well, I think I understand that successful people work hard, and that's a big part of why they are successful. So uh, I, I, I conceptually get that, yes, but please go on. Well, I mean, when, when we get down to goal setting, it's like if you want to do well, it doesn't matter what you want to do. You have to see yourself in the business. You have to feel yourself in the business. So I'm going to give you a quick description of what uh, you know a potential goal setting for a new vending operator might be. He's going to come out and he's going to say a re you need realistic goals. So you have to say if you've never been in the business, you've got to say, well, how many new accounts do I plan on getting this year? What kind of accounts are they going to be? How am I going to service them and, and what are they going to look like? And, and to that, I'm going to answer you've got to be very, very, very specific. And for example, I am want to have four new accounts this year. I want these accounts 50 to 100 people in them. I want the populations of those accounts to be, let's say, 50% Hispanic and the rest is a mix. I want the, it largely in a blue collar operation. I want to have a single snack and a single soda machine there and I want these accounts to generate X amount of dollars per year. I plan on servicing these accounts once or twice a week depending on the volume of business that they're going to do. It's this kind of detailed planning that helps you understand exactly what you're going to do because the rest of your business can be determined by those parameters that we just set out. It's all about planning again. It's about getting your getting your ducks in a row and, and implementing that plan. And so again, you know, we just kind of touched on the fact that vending people work hard. Typical vending day, you're gonna be up early in the morning. You're, you're gonna do one of two things. You're either gonna be up early in the morning or work late at night. I always got up early in the morning. Early in the morning to me is 4.30 in the morning. We would have trucks loaded and be on the road by 6 o'clock in the morning. Be at our first stop at around 6.30. We're going to work from 6.30 until whenever. We generally sat in accounts during traffic times. Again, a bit of planning. We didn't want to have our guys 
driving around in traffic looking at a windshield when they could be looking at the glass of a machine filling it. So that was part of the part of the plan. Um, we, they would be out and they would work until about 3.30 to 4, sometimes 5 o'clock at night, after which they turn in their money, they hand it, you know, restock their trucks to a certain degree, they restock in the morning as well, and they're ready to go for the next day. And sometimes, you know, on a good day, we'd be done by 7 o'clock at night as, a, as an owner slash manager. That's hard work when you do it five to seven days a week or six days a week, but you have to have that planned out. That's goal setting. That's how you how you get yourself going. Excellent stuff, Larry. Thanks so much. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do and and uh, how you can people can contact you. Well, we do vending consulting. We do it for people that are new in the business, or if you've been in the business a while and you want your operations streamlined, you want to have uh, any kind of internal audits, anything like that. Uh, all kinds of consulting on vending. We're available at servicegroupinternational at gmail.com. That's uh, one word at servicegroupinternational at gmail.com. And you've been watching the Vending Business Show, a publication of A&M Equipment Sales.